Hi, it's Dina the Pretty Productive. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today what I'm going to be doing is a really quick August close and then move into cash stuffing for September. So the way this month kind of laid out, it was, should have been like a four and a half week. So I just went ahead and kept this August budget through today, which is Saturday, September 3rd. And then I'll start my September budget, which will make it a four week budget instead of a five week budget. It was just the way that the dates ran. So um, not a lot of transactions again, <laughs> but um, let's go ahead and close this out. So my last check-in was on the 20th because I did not check in for this week. As you can see, I have a lot of this green color that means sinking funds and not much else. So I always start with groceries. So I had one grocery for 48. I have been trying to have my husband tell me what the groceries are when he goes and picks them up so I can give him the money back, but he tells me not to worry about it. So this month I'm doing cash. I can just hand him the cash. And then eating out, I think I had two. My Cafe Rio. No, oh, I had one. Oh, I had Chipotle, but I paid cash for that. Okay, that's what it was. So, Chipotle. Cafe Rio. Oh my gosh. Okay, Cafe Rio for 21. So, 120 minus 21. So, I have 99 left. And then spending, I started with 50. So Chipotle for 25, Safeway for 10, Hot Bagel for 13. So 25 plus 10 plus 13, 48. I have $2 left in my wallet, so that makes sense. And if you um, didn't see the earlier videos, when I had a rollover money in my spending category, I went ahead and put it into Savings Challenge. Um, I am trying to finish that out. So I have $2 left in spending. And then in entertainment, I took out, let's see here, I had 100. And I used 85, um, went and picked up Texas Roadhouse for everybody. And I didn't have enough money, well, I guess I almost, I had enough in eating out, I didn't think I did. So I used my entertainment money and that was 85. So I left 15. And I think I already took that money out, but I have to check. <laughs> um, personal care, I didn't use anything. I should have 57. Miscellaneous, I have never did not use. My mom, I used $9. I went and got her Sonic the other day before I visited. And that was 85 minus nine. I did use my card, so figure that one out. Um, I did not put gas in my car once this month. Tells you I didn't leave the house much. Um, I didn't have a color for medicine, so I did spend 35 at CVS. I wrote it in here. No, oh, it's amazing my funds now. And I have not updated my transactions yet either. Medicine. Okay, so medicine I used 35. That's actually enough. Okay. And then um, I did use out of my sinking funds um, for the Hobonichi launch on the first. I actually went to the Hobonichi store. It seems weird, but it's cheaper to buy it for the Hobonichi store even with paying shipping. And the shipping is FedEx. It's not that bad. Um, I spent 118. So part of that is for me and part of that is for a gift. And then I spent Jet Pit 
at Jet Pens $100. So I bought my covers and things like that from Jet Pens. And also part of that is for a gift. And then I did buy, buy, <laughs> I did pay for my car registration and another $52 to get a specialty plate that is for first responders. And so um, that was $51. So the total was $726. And I had actually taken that out of my incremental income from last month. And then I did spend out of clothing $259 at Portland Leather. I bought, I replaced my tote bag that is falling apart and I bought a purse. So they're having a great sale this weekend, an additional 30% off their sale prices. So I did go ahead and get that. Um, and I think that's it. Okay. So let's look how we ended the month and I'll have to include the sinking fund ones that I paid for in my September, because if um, you haven't seen my September setup yet, I already closed my seeking fund, so that's okay. I'll just roll those expenses into September. So pretty, pretty good month overall. Um, this is not normal because quite frankly, I normally am out a lot more. I've been working a lot. And so my husband's kind of just been doing the heavy lifting and getting all the groceries and everything else. And then my sister is out of town, but I went and picked up her little fresh box. So she told me to eat that. So we've been eating that for the last two nights. So that's kind of how you get through a month, right? <laughs> so um, I'm gonna put this to the side and then I'm gonna empty the wallet, um, the envelopes that I do have in here and those will go into savings challenges. So for personal care, it's 20, 40, 50, 5, 56, 57. I'm gonna ten, take the 10 out and put that in my $10 savings challenge. For entertainment, yes, I did take it out. I have $16 left. Two tablets. And for my mom, let's see. I'll take the 10 out, put it in my 10, which would have paid myself back. And then there's three twenties. And then for miscellaneous, I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead. I have a miscellaneous envelope that I kind of roll miscellaneous into. I think after the third month of rolling it over hundred percent, I'm just going to take this envelope out of the picture. So I'm not going to put that in savings challenge though. And then medicine. Oh, because medicine was online. I'm like, wait a minute. Close is online. Back to bank. Um, this money goes in with my cash stuffing money because I accounted for this when I pulled the money out of the bank. I'm going to put that over there. And that is done. I'm going to go ahead and put all of this into the savings challenge while it's here. And if this is new to you, this is my version of a hundred envelope one through 100. And you start with $1 and your last one is a hundred dollars. And I am using this to pay for a beach house that we are going to be um, renting in the month of July. I didn't really have a function for it. So, um, and the amounts match. So I figured that made the most sense. So this is my tracker. This tells me what still needs to be stuffed. And let me go through first and look at ones because that seems to be the hardest ones for me to fill. So I'm gonna do 43. So I have 20, 43. And you guys are able to see where I cannot. And sometimes I don't think there's anything in there, but you guys let me know if I put it in the wrong one, which I appreciate. So 43. And then let me look for ones that need fives. 75 can't do. How is, oh, that's 90. Okay, let's do. 40, 60, 70. 
Okay, I'm gonna put this under, so this 70 is gonna go under 69. And that way, there's a few of these that I have a dollar or two dollars more, but that's okay. So 69. Okay, and then let me add, so 43 plus 69, I added 112, today is the third, so after I finished um, the last cash stuffing, I did go through every single tab and I realized I had put like one in the tab that should have been there, but I put it in the one behind it, so I straightened all that out. <laughs> Gotta keep it clear. So 1,808 was in here before. I added 112, so it now has 1,920. Okay, so I am planning for a certain amount of money into my savings challenge because I need to make that goal by June, so I am taking that out of my incremental income though. And then I did kind of move my binders around. So my savings challenges, always gonna be in the last one, right? So for my $10 savings challenge, um, I am adding three. And each bag of money is $30. And, you know, this obviously you can make it any denomination you want to. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 250. Take me to there, right? Now that's 240. Okay. Let me find this color. Is it this one? Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Okay, so 240, and then this one will be 270. Okay, so those are done, and then I'm gonna do this one at the, uh, when I do my other one. Okay, that's all for that one. This is from the month. Um, last month, so I'm gonna put that in. Now there's 200 in here, and then if I have one more month that I don't um, use it, then I'm just gonna eliminate it. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring this over. First one we're gonna work on. So these are kind of my everyday carry ones. I am going to be adding to this one. This one's gonna go into my wallet. And this is the de denominations of money that I took out. But I also added from rollover from my bank, 120 dollars. Make sure that's right. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and add it up. So for 50s, I should have 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and I do. So 15 times 50. And then in my 20s, I should have 46. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46. So 46 times 20, line 20, and then I should have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is easier just to count the denominations than it is for me to add it up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, so 10 fives. And there should be 10 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so 10 ones. Okay, 1,850, we are good to go. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is grab this sheet. And this is gonna tell me what's gonna go where. So for groceries, I took out $500. And my denominations are on here. So for groceries, I did 850s, 420s, and 45s. So it comes up to 125 a week, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we, tomorrow is Sunday, Monday is Labor Day in the States, so we are doing a barbecue on Sunday, but I do have a envelope that I call family barbecue and that's where I pull it out from because when you start to buy brisket and ribs and things like that it adds up super quickly so I don't like to take that out of my grocery money so I kind of just plan for it so I'm going to take 125 and that is going to go into my wallet and then the balance goes into here And then each week I will fill my wallet from this. Okay, and then eating out is 200 and I did that as two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight and four tenths. I should have 200, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, too many 20s, 70, 80, 90, too many 10s. I am really rusty on cash stuffing, guys. <laughs> really rusty. So I'm going to take 50 and put that in my wallet, and the balance will go in here. And then spending actually goes into my wallet. So 20, 40, 60, 80. So this should be 160. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60. 170, 180, 190, 200. Okay. So same thing, two 20s and a 10. I'll go in my wallet. 
and the balance goes in here. I'm just gonna put this to the side because that needs to go into my wallet. And then for personal care, it's 200. I need to see how I broke it up. I did 150, 420s, three tens. Six fives, six, and ten ones. So let's see if this is right. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 160, 165, 170, 175, 180, 185, 190. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put, um, I'm gonna put 40 in my wallet because, actually I'm gonna put 45 because I need to get my hair cut, hopefully, today. It's way past time. And then I'll update my trackers later. And then for entertainment, I am putting in 150, 220s, and a 10. And I'm just gonna put this in here and just grab it when I need it because I don't need to carry that with me. And then for my mom, she gets a hundred and it's five twenties. Three, four, five. I'm gonna put 60 in here and 40 in my wallet. And then miscellaneous, I am doing five twenties. Hundred and medicine gets five twenties. One, two, three, four, five. And since I just picked up medicine, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest in here and not. Um, Put it in my wallet. I'm not gonna tempt myself. So I'm gonna put that to the side and then go ahead and put these in while I still know what they are. <laughs> okay, so personal care was getting 45, 20, 45. And then my mom gets 40 and my mom's gift cards are in the front here so I'll have them with me when I need them because I have not lately. Um, entertainment I'm gonna wait on. This one is actually gonna be Target and we'll see that later and then bank. Okay, so this is ready to go. And then let's talk sinking funds. So the first one I'm gonna start with is this one right here. I've got to work out a filming because this is just not working for me. My poor husband has to stay on the other side of the house. Okay, so Valentine's, anniversary, St. Patrick's. These are all gonna get stuffed with incremental income. Um, my family barbecue one has 200 in it. So Christmas has been funded for this month. And there's currently Uh, my pencil? So I added the 400 already when I got paid. So there is 36, 44, 9, 1, 
fund. And then I'm gonna have to use the back side of this because I kind of ran out of room. Um, I did tell my kids that this would be the last time we have a Christmas this big because this is a lot of money, but I do also have a big family. So every present is 50. So one, two, 100, 200. And then because this was 25, I need to wait a minute. So 200 and 25. Then I can do a 75 and 100 on the other side. I'll go ahead and finish that one out. So 225. So I have 175 left. I'm going to do a tree and a snowman. Okay, that's caught up. Okay, so for my envelope for my birthday, it's 50. My husband is fully funded for my daughter, Megan, whose birthday is also in July. She gets 50. My daughter and son-in-law is funded. Nieces and nephews is funded. Family is funded. Liam and Milo. So, okay. So, we'll that. Out. Need to make sure of that, though. One moment, please. So that one is. That one is done. Date night. So, if there's a T next to it, it means transfer. And if there's a C, it means cash. So, that's kind of my coding system. Okay. So, let's take out this one. So, for this one... Date night gets a hundred, and that's two fifties. Household is funded. So I'm gonna take this hundred. I'm going to Target today. So I'm gonna take this hundred out and put it in my my envelope so that I can add that to my red card. Um, does Target get anything? No. Thrifting, vacation, no. Vitamins get 100. Hmm. I am short to 50, so I'm gonna do How many short of 50? Okay, I'm just gonna put 100 in there because the other one that I have to stuff for sinking funds is an exact 50, so. Okay, so that one is done. And then in my long term, I just have tax prep. So I just take my amount of money that we pay for tax prep and I divide it by however many months I have. So it is actually um, $50 a month between now and April. So, um, and we do pay a lot, I've had comments on that. And it's really not that much because my husband has a business and an income. I have an income that I pull from my pension as well as incremental income and he does my Etsy shop. So we just roll it all into one kind of tax prep so I'm not having to pay separately. So, and we've had him for years, he's great. So, okay, so that should be everything going in right now. And then as far as my incremental income, that will come in at the end of the month. Um, I did work overtime again last week and I hopefully will not have overtime next week. <laughs> and then um, at the, towards the end of the month, I'm gonna take some days off. So that will kind of level out um, this month. So, 
Okay, that is everything um, for this video. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. And if you have not already, please like this video and subscribe. Thank you so much. Take care. I'm buzzing, let's drink up. You look like big fun. Come on.